Hi, welcome to part three of the momentary and toggle switch tutorial uh, with LEDs. So in this part, we're going to create a toggle switch. The last uh, part two, we made a momentary switch, uh, basically push on, push is on and releases off. So this time we'll create a toggle switch with our second button. All right, so to get started, we're pretty much gonna copy uh, the very same thing that we did for the first button. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that so you don't have to sit here and watch me type. I'm going to go ahead and you know copy that from everything with the headers and everything like that down just before the delay. Copy that. Give myself a couple extra spaces and paste that in. And we'll call this BT2. And just now we have to just update all the um, variables and everything. BT2, this will be our toggle switch. And then if this is BT2 is on. So we're going to use um, this gate. Now we didn't create one for BT2, so we'll have to do that for BT2 as well. At the very top, I'm going to create another Boolean, and it's BT2G, and we're going to set it by default to true. Okay. And so going back down here, we're going to say that's BT2G if that is true, and then we're going to read from BT2, and if it's pushed down or low, then we're going to write to LED2. Okay. Though actually, uh, we're going to take this line of code out because we're going to handle the LED completely separate down in another part of this code. Okay. So let's just get rid of the LED on for now, and we'll deal with that later. Our header is going to be updated to BT2. We're still going to print one because one signifies on, and then we'll just shut the right gate BT2. So make sure you update the right bits. Sometimes you forget one bit, and then it'll cause an error. Okay. Again, for the off part, we're going to say BT2 is off. We're going to use the BT2G, they're the gate, and we're going to read digital BT2, digital read BT2. Uh, again, we're going to deal with the LED somewhere else. Our header has to be updated to say BT2, and the gate down here, BT2G. Okay, now uh, what we need to add is the toggle part of it. Okay, so let me just show you very briefly, um, uh, we're going to use a, a modulo. Um, well, I won't get into it now, but basically uh, I've done it in several other videos, I think, somewhere you'll you'll have seen it. Hopefully you'll have seen it. Uh, but modulo basically um, gives you the remainder. So if you have something like 5 modulo, and modulo is designated by the percentage sign, 5 modulo 2, this will be equal to 3. Huh? Because uh, 2 goes into 5 once, and it leaves a remainder of 3. All right? So you can now um, toggle between two states. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I'm sorry. This will be one. Sorry, jeez. Okay, I meant to. I was thinking the other way. That's two modulo five. So in this case, you can you can. Uh, well, let's make it let's make it twelve modulo five. That's easier to think about. Let's let's um, and that'll be uh, two, right? So let you can think about five different states. So. Um, you know, when you get to 15, it'll be 0, 16 will be 1, 17 will be 2, 18 will be 3, 19, 4, 20, 0 again. So it just toggles between 0 and 4, right? Because 0 is its 0 base. All right. Now, uh, so if you want to just have a toggle switch between uh, on and off, we're just going to have something toggle uh, modulo 2 like that. Okay, that's just a quick and dirty modulo thing. I, th I think I've talked about it elsewhere. So. I don't want to be too redundant here in my series. Okay, so what we'll need to do is something similar to that. So we're going to go and let me see what I called it. Um, uh, what did I call it? Oh, I didn't make it here. Okay, so we'll have a... Um, oh, no, I did. Okay, so we'll have a toggle here on button 2. So we'll call it um, an int. It'll be because it has to be 0 or 1. And we'll call it the BT2. And we'll call it T for toggle. And we'll set its initial state to zero, which is off. All right. And then going back to the BT2 code here, what we'll do is every time we push the button, we'll update it. So we'll toggle it uh, one more. We'll make it, we'll advance it one. All right. So somewhere in here, we're going to say BT2T, which is a toggle, equals itself BT2T, right, which initially is zero. And then we're going to add 1 to it, plus 1. Okay? So if we did that, every time we push the button, 
it would just increment upwards, right? So zero starts at zero. We push the button, it becomes one. Push the button again, it becomes two. Push the button again, it becomes three, four, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? Except we really do want it to toggle back and forth between two states. So we're going to put all that in parentheses, just these two bit, bt2t two, two, plus one. And then we're going to hit modulo, and then we're going to say two. So as it as it climbs up, as it increments, so if it gets to two, then this will be zero. If it gets to three, it'll be one. If it gets to four, it'll be zero. If it gets to five, it'll be one, and six, zero. So it just is oscillating between zero and one. That's what's happening there. Okay, so then that's great. So we have our things that's gonna go between one and zero. We still have our gates, we still need that. So it just lets one value through at a time. So we're keeping those gates, but this thing here will toggle it now. We'll toggle this value, BT2T, between zero and one. And we can use that as a toggle switch. All right, so one of the things we want to do is um, um, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to think of how we want it to read. So if we're reading it in another program, we might want to just read the toggle version of it instead of it's on off state. So I'm going to go ahead and um, cut that out, sorry, and I'm going to put it ahead of the print because I can do it anytime. It's going to run all of that code there. We're going to be the first thing we do is this toggle. We can put a little note. This toggles BT two T zero and one. Okay, um, and so then now instead of printing out uh, one every time, we're going to just print out the toggle. Okay, so we'll say BT two T. So it's going to send either a zero or a one every time. All right, and in that case, we will. Well, we'll leave this. Um, we'll leave this. Uh, I guess we'll have to update that to be something else, but it's fine. Uh, well, we, we'll 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 just comment these out, and you can you can do what you want with it. So this is the off state, and what I really want is just the the toggle state of this. This is the toggle switch. So we'll just comment those out, and get that. We still need this true because it. We just want to send the one value every time. Anyways, now uh, what we want to do is then uh, toggle on and off our LEDs. Okay, so this here toggles this between one and zero, and so in a separate part of the code, outside of all these if statements down here above the delay, we'll create another if just for the LEDs. So toggle LED two on and off with a BT two button. Okay, so we're going to use an if statement, and we're going to say if that bt2t, bt2t, if that one is equal to zero, then the digital read will be off. So, um, and if you put everything on the same line, you don't have to use those curly brackets. So we'll, I'll show you this shorthand here. So then we're going to write to the LED port. So it's um, digital write, and I believe it's, uh, what did we call it, LED1? Well, so we're doing LED2, LED2, and it's going to be low, right, okay, because that's off. If it's zero, it's off. And then uh, we can do another if, we can do else if, but let's just say if, or we can do just else, actually, BT2, T, I'll just be more explicit here, is equal to one, and not use else, well, then uh, digital write low, I mean high. LED2, and that'll be high. Okay, so there you go. We have a toggle switch working now, and it's going to toggle our LED on and off, and it's just going to send uh, either a 1 or 0, depending on if it's toggling, um, you know, if it's on or off. So let me save that. Let me upload that code. Double check my view is still good there, camera. Yeah, that's okay. All right, and then uh, so this should, this here should turn it on one push, and then the other push turns it off one push, turns it off. And our other our button one is still momentary, only is on when it's pushed. And then let's look at our serial monitor. So if this is pushed, it sends one, and it's release sends off. This one just sends the current state of it. It's BT2 is on, BT2 is off, BT2 is on, BT2 is off. 
Okay, well, there you go. That's that's already pretty powerful. Uh, one thing comment I like to make is that you can see how a lot of this is done in software. You can take this one reading and it's just between a one and zero and do a lot of different things with it. So not only could, for example, you toggle between two different states, on or off, but you can toggle between, say, five different states and then maybe have a separate LED for each one. We won't get into that for now, but just be aware that just with toggling with a zero or one as data, you can manipulate in software and do quite a, quite a number of different things with that. Okay, well, good luck with that. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial.